please note, most responses are heard upon review and not in real time. Changes in the video's filter visually mark the replies that were the most significant. Those various audio responses have been enhanced, repeated, and sometimes slowed down. As always, we do not offer this video as irrefutable evidence of the paranormal, nor do we claim our annotations are 100% conclusive. All we're asking is that you please approach the data presented here with a curious mind, and that you wear damn headphones. Once again, we set up the laser grid system in hopes of something crossing the beam and setting off the alarm. This seemed to be a great area to do another EVP session given the sounds that we just heard. This is a good spot to point out that for the entirety of our time upstairs, I kept having issues with my camera being shut off. So you'll see jumps and hear changes in the audio quality. All right, I got the, my recorder going here. I got that one going. All right. What room do you guys call this? This was the um, in superintendent's room. Living quarters? No, that was downstairs. No, I thought this was up here, and then the infirmary was right there, so she could get yeah. up in the middle of the night and go. But didn't he say? Well, well there used to be a wall right here. Yeah, it's been renovated, but this was the superintendent's. Okay. I was paying attention. I'm glad. That's good, Lindsay. <laughs> That'll be a test. <laughs> I feel like you need a bearskin rug. Hey, so we introduce ourselves downstairs. Once again, my name is Matthew, and I'm here with my friends Connor, Lindsay, and Mike. And um, we're we're here to communicate with the the spirits here and the the people and the history of this poor farm. And. While we were downstairs, we, we heard some pretty loud thuds and we just kind of got the feeling that whomever was here to speak to us was upstairs. So if if you're here, make your presence known. Please come in the room, uh, talk to us. We're, we're really wanting to communicate and see if there's anything we can learn from you and uh, anything we can do for you or anything you could do for us. So we really like to know about you. Could you let us know you're here? closer to us. I'm trying to hear where you're at. If you're in the hallway, feel free to step in and speak with us. I'm from Nashville, Indiana. You ever been to Nashville? Mike's from New Albany. Lindsay's from Seymour, and Connor's from Columbus. So we're all Hoosiers here. Also, there's a lot of older furniture and items around here that you may be associated with. Instead of just here at the, at the poor farm, if so, let us know. up in the poor farm what was your job on the farm 
this light bothers you. Let me turn it off. I forgot the light was even on. Is that better? Any of you veterans of the Great War? Are you? Do you recall the uh, Spanish flu? Anybody have consumption? What color was the cat? to VB down in the kitchen or the women's sitting room. After hearing what seemed to be knocks in response to our questions to let us know the spirits were here, I was anxious to review the audio of the EVP session. Imagine my surprise when I heard a relevant phrase before I even asked the first question. I've given it a lot of thought. I think I'll go bathroom. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving it a lot. I'm always reluctant to be a strange location. Yeah. There's a bathroom up here. Up here? Yeah, there's a bathroom. Oh, cool. Where? Come on, buddy. We're good. No, wait. I don't want to pull you down. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, buddy. So, sure, I'm glad Connor's here so I don't have to do that bullshit. Oh, I know. It gets old. <laughs> Which way is it? I think it's this way. Why don't you step? Oh, All right, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> you might find it curious as to why I chose to include this clip of Mike and Connor headed to the restroom. First off, Connor, not knowing there was only one bathroom upstairs, inadvertently directed Mike into a closet to piss. Hilarious. But it was the moment after that that Mike had a personal experience, one he'll never forget. A full-on shadow figure right in front of him outside of Mary's room, and then walked off. This wasn't caught on video, but you'll hear the audio. Hey, well, I go in there and he says, you go in that one, I'll go in this one. He got me in, I feel the toilet, he put me in a closet. <laughs> Where you go out here? Yeah, I don't like one up there. Well, So Michael saw a shadow figure. I think the, the four of us should go to the four corners of the building okay. on this second floor. Like one person in this room, one person in that room, and two down there. Okay. And because of some, I mean, it's like everywhere we go, like we're downstairs, we're here upstairs, we're up here, we're here in the back. That way right. we can just kind of spread yeah, out. Maybe we could determine more so where the, the noise is coming from, you know? So uh, as if, if everyone has a recorder, uh, if, if we could do like, um, if each of us had some sort of pod in each area. So I got Trifield, I got another EDI downstairs, you got your round and yeah, your EDI. Right okay. All right, 
That's where do you want me? Wherever you want to go. Do you need the infirmary or would you rather stand here? I like I might take this corner. What'd you say, Lynn? I think I'll take this spot. This spot? Okay, then I'll take my... Can, do you have your light on you? Or do you just shine down your side? Oh my gosh, Mm -hmm. That's just such a better score. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, it's me. I, <laughs> I, I wish everybody would. Right. What's this? Uh, I think then, I don't know where you want to go, but. I'm going to go somewhere where everybody else ain't. Okay. <laughs> Matthew? He ran downstairs. Okay. I think he said somebody in that room, too, if you wanted to go Which, uh, straight across the hall. Oh, it doesn't matter at all to me. I'll go to. With Mike and Lindsay in different rooms towards the front, I settled in the entrance of Mary's room where Mike saw the shadow. Meanwhile, Connor went to the infirmary, which is also the military room, and he started hearing noises of movement in this area, and he eventually saw shadows in the hall near where I was. Connor, are you moving? No, but I heard that. Okay. Like somebody Connor said he sounded like beanbags dropping. Beanbags? Movement in the infirmary. Who's back here with me? There's something walking back here. I can see a shadow. Where are you? We also caught a faint whispery EVP right off my camera's microphone. This was the only EVP caught during that experiment. Hey, we're new here. Can somebody come introduce themselves to one of us? And where were you in relation to the bathroom and everything? I was laying there in the bathroom floor. Okay, then you, that same journal area. Yeah. I got to tell you, Matthew, that's just, I hit the last time I saw something like that was the first time I ever went to Waverly with Gene when he and I watched something mm -hmm. come toward us. Was I mean, it was just, was yeah, not hands and feet shape. It was right. almost like a, a you know, like, it's, like a mound. So but uh, there's like one of those, volume they're and sitting on the chairs, huh? like, I believe it, right next to that. Oh, fucking go away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Though I gotta admit, I took a little bit about shit in my head. Just like, <laughs> the shadow would go from behind me and we'll like, go and just do it like fucking six times. I don't think we could actually all go into Mary's room and shoot this out of Mary's room uh, towards the elevator where he saw the shadow. Where he saw the shadow. Okay. And we could do an EVP session in Mary's room and maybe ghost block session too. Yeah. We then decided to set up the laser grid in Mary's room and do another EVP session. This is the area I was beginning to suspect might be the heartbeat of the activity we've been experiencing. Should we just all trap ourselves in here? Yeah, I think so. It'd be nice and cozy. Hold on. You guys want me to poop in here first? <laughs> you want me to shut this door? Or uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't care. This is Mary's room? <clears throat> Where yeah, the hell? What was the bed? Well, well, sure. it's, it's probably this was all added. Oh, okay. <laughs> I dare say, no wonder she was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I thought it was the same as downstairs. There's two bathrooms. Yeah. Right? And I was this that door was open, so I walked in there, and I was like, I'll go in this one. And I was like, so I'll get there when I reach. <laughs> I flipped the switch, it doesn't happen, and I started reaching for the toilet, <laughs> and I'm in a closet. <laughs> Matthew, Man. would I be in He's your a, way? He's a motherfucker, Mike. Yeah. If I, if, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, what I'm getting is, what I'm getting is, give y'all more room in there this big way. No, I mean, if you want to, but you won't be able to see the grid. Right. I just didn't want to crowd you off. Well, and there's the train. Is Mary here?
Michael, what was the name of the gang that uh, is from this area that they uh, hung them, I think? In the, Reno you know, Brothers. Reno Brothers? Hung them in Seymour. First train robbery. I think they have some Reno Brothers stuff here at this museum. I found out the other day they're buried in Seymour. Saw an article. Are the Reno Brothers here? Mary, what's your cat's name? Mary, what's your cat's name? What's your cat's name? What's your cat's name? Does it make you mad that you have men in your room? Does it make you mad that you have men in your room? Do you have men in your room? I asked about Vivi earlier and it seemed like it made someone unhappy that I brought her name up. Is Vivi here or do you know her? back real quick to see. Next we decided to try another type of ITC experiment, a spirit box session. Here I tried my Ants Box Model FR set on reverse speech. I only noted a few relevant responses here. I wound up not using much footage from this session because upon review, I noticed that I had the sweep speed set way too low for my preference. Do you have a favorite, uh, favorite item in this room? Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm trying to. Just say get out then. <laughs> huh? You not like this conversation? Don't want it. Please. Please. Well, if you want me to turn it off, I will. I'll be respectful like that. Do you do you want me to turn it off? Turn off. Turn off. All right. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. We were just hoping being this close to Halloween, you'd be, you'd want to communicate with us. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you. Okay, you want us to turn this off for real? Trying to scare you? Doesn't sound like it. Do you know Huff? That's <laughs> where I felt like someone pulled on back my shirt a little bit. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. We then headed downstairs to the women's sitting room where the tragic death of V.V. Mace occurred. We catch no EVPs during our session in this area, and the activity in general seemed to really have quieted down. But I still wanted to take note of Mike's EVP questions here. It's an excellent example of how to conduct an intriguing and respectful session. Well, if, we, if we've spoken to you before, it's still us. If you could introduce yourself, we'd sure appreciate it. Could you tell us your name, our names? Am I right in assuming you're uh, you're related to this building some way, or this history some way, this time period? Has one of you been here longer than the others? And if so, what is your name? We understand there was a bit of tragedy in this uh, this room. Do you know of what I'm speaking? What happened? The lady, the young lady that was injured, you recall her name? When was that? Did she recover? 
if she didn't recover, where, where did she go? And while I'm on the subject, where do any of you go after you leave here? When you leave this existence where we are now, where do you go? Do you have a choice? For instance, if you're still here, do you choose to stay here? Or do you visit? Do you maintain your soul? Is this uh, your eternal stopping place? Or is it just a matter of moving on later on? Is there anyone spirit-wise not necessarily related to this building that knows anyone related to any of us in this room. Now, I'm going to ask you something may seem silly, but there's a reason for it. Can you give us a number? Can you give us a color? Is your favorite day of the week? And I ask you these things because they're things that would be simple for you to answer if you can answer, if you have that ability, and yet is not so complicated. We couldn't understand the answer. Before we end this, would you please try your dirtness just to be as loud as you can. We don't know what you're having to go through in order to, to make a noise. Uh, as far as we know, you can make the noise. It's us where the problem lies that we just can't hear it correctly. But if you'll just uh, tolerate us a bit and try to make as much noise as you can. We've got these things now. didn't happen back in your day, but we can actually hear what you say if you say it loud enough. So be sure and, and try your darndest to talk to us. You've got your friends here that they're here all the time. You know how they care about you. And they certainly wouldn't let anybody come in here and, and give you a hard way to go. It, we're physically unable to hurt you in any way. We just like, would like to know more about what goes on after we leave. Shall we give it a try? See what we, what we got? Sure. Well, if you've tried to talk to us, thank you. We'll try again a little bit. We're going to listen now to see if we can see if you've tried to talk to us and we've understood any of it. With the feeling of the night winding down, it occurred to me that it was officially Halloween. So I felt like it was appropriate to debut my newest ITC device, the RCA Spirit Box with Reverse Speech by Halte Paranormal. And what a debut it was. <laughs> Yeah. Who's talking to us? Can you speak to this? Yeah. <laughs> you know this guy right here? What's his name? Who, who are you speaking to? Can you tell us the name of this building? Hello? Are you upstairs? Yes. Hello? Whoa, he said you Can you use that device to speak through? Can you speak through this? Who were we speaking to in the infirmary earlier? Is Mary here? All right, thank you. The remaining poor farms across the Midwest are gifts from the past. 
Not only do they give us an idea of the fighting spirit of people struggling to exist, but they also are an opportunity to experience those undying spirits that still make their existence known in the present.